awesome. All right, guys, welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm super excited to talk about this next topic because as some of you may know, I love me some animals. Whenever Nuzzles & Co. comes on, I'm always joking that it's my new adopted family member. Um, but right now we're going to talk about a serious uh, issue going on, and that's kind of um, animals that are being, you know, unfortunately kind of killed off and one that you may not think of you know we hear about elephants being poached and you know save save the rhinos and even bees we're going to talk about the monarch butterfly and more specifically how the Ogden Nation Center Inc. Dwell are bringing attention to the monarch butterfly and more specifically in in their um, hab ha habitats and in, in, in you know their their domains and how they're being killed off and how they're actually huge to the pollination process and so joining me from Inkdwell is Thayer Walker from the Ogden Nature Center of the Public Relations Special Projects Coordinator, Brandy Bosworth, <laughs> and finally the artist of the mural going up at the Ogden Nature Center, Jane Kim. Thank you three for so much for coming on. I mean, we, we were kind of talking about this during commercial break, but as I was saying, the monarch butterfly, this, this, this guy is important, more important than many people think, and again, it contributes to like $9 billion in the pollination process for farms and everything. So first and foremost, I want to talk to you, Thayer, about Inkdwell. Why did you guys want to bring attention to animals that are kind of being extinct, um, and what brought this whole process to do murals? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the monarch butterfly is uh, an, an iconic, uh, symbol of pollinators and the pollinator ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And as you said, um, you know, pollinators play a huge role in, I mean, things as, as basic as, as food security. Um, they, uh, you know, they, they help us um, grow and harvest and, and, um, and eat our food. Um, and, you know, monarchs, like many other pollinators, are, are in significant decline. Their numbers have dropped about, uh, you know, 80 to 90 percent over the last 20 years. Um, they're found historically across North America. Um, and so um, we created the Migrating Mural, and mm -hmm. Jane, Jane, you know, creates the Migrating Murals um, in order to, you know, bring attention and awareness mm -hmm. and um, uh, celebrate the monarch and um, add beauty to, to our world. And, and you're doing this in conjunction with the Ogden Nature Center and so the project actually is much bigger than just the Ogden Nature yeah. Center it's a team of us in Ogden um, the Nature Center specifically mm -hmm. has a set of beautiful banners that illustrate the life cycle of the okay. monarch butterfly and then Jane is working on a really enormous I hope we have some photos of it um, enormous mural on a historic building downtown the parking structure called the monarch and it's a new um, art space that Ogden is developing and then Weber State University in the Lindquist College of Arts and Humanities inside they have an enormous mural going up and Jane has selected like the perfect artwork for each location inside the art building it sort of feels like an illustration which I think will be so long-term and lasting there and beautiful there so it, it's really um, totally worth a drive mm -hmm. to Ogden to see all three pieces I think Oh, totally. And, and Jane, is this going to be more than just the mural? Are people going to be able to go to the mural and see exactly what this is bringing attention to? Yes. So uh, Inkdwell focuses primarily on public art, which mm -hmm. means that everyone has the ability to see it, enjoy it. We'll have signage that explains the story. Um, this is part of a great network of murals. Um, so we have uh, monarch migrating murals in Arkansas and mm -hmm. Florida mm -hmm. in San Francisco and now here in Ogden, Utah. So that's pretty exciting. I mean, I mean, yeah, to, to be like, oh yeah, we have murals in San Francisco, which is my old city, and then, oh yeah, Ogden, Utah, it's kind of like, hey, we're up there with, with the best of the best. What was your process behind the mural, and how did you think, all right, how am I going to bring attention to the monarch butterfly? Because again, it's kind of this thing that we see as a kid, and it's like, oh, it's this big butterfly, and then, you know, I was reading the statistics behind why the monarch specifically, and I was like, Oh, this seems actually really important. Sure. <laughs> it's not just this beautiful butterfly flying around. Yeah, exactly. So the migrating mural, it's 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 a, a larger project and the migrating mural itself is a series of art installations mm -hmm. that are painted along migration corridors of wildlife where they intersect with people. Mm -hmm. um, and we we wanted to always highlight animals that uh, tend to go unnoticed, whether yeah. it's because it's really hard to see, like mm -hmm. the Sierra Nevada bighorn sheep or the monarch butterfly, a, just a floating insect that, yeah. you, that you may not notice, but mm -hmm. it's about uh, bringing attention to, to that through these big, beautiful public art installations. And, and Thayer, we, we, we again touched on it, migration corridors is kind of where these murals are putting up these, these 
um, places of importance. Um, what what was the whole reasoning behind this this whole concept? Was it kind of just like, hey, we love animals, we should bring attention to this, or was it like, mm, no, this is actually a bigger deal than just animal loving? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, I mean, it was a little bit of both. I think, you know, we created the migrating mural with the idea to um, you know, shine a spotlight on wildlife along migration corridors they share with humans, mm -hmm. um, and especially wildlife that's that's imperiled. Um, so the monarch butterfly historically is found across the entire uh, continental U.S., the mm -hmm. lower 48, um, and it migrates from Mexico to Canada, and it's these really spectacular migrations. I mean, they'll historically they'll they'll congregate by by the billion um, in these uh, these pine forests in mm -hmm. uh, high altitude pine forests in, in central Mexico, and then every year they they come back up northwards. Um, and so as those as those numbers have be, begun to to decline, um, you know. Jane obviously having the um, really spectacular kind of artistic voice and vision, um, you know, we wanted to figure out what we could do to um, kind of help tell this story and, and really, um, you know, drive people to, to understand that there are things that we, um, that we can do and should mm -hmm. be doing to, you know, ensure, you know, ensure and protect the, the health of our ecosystems. And that brings up a really good point because with each mural, um, what we're trying to encourage is that everybody has the capacity to do something for the monarch butterfly, which mm -hmm. is, of course, planting native wildflowers and native milkweeds. And so with each project, there has been that element and component to it. So we're really excited to be working with the Nature Center to figure out ways that we can encourage Ogden citizens to also plant natives and, and gar native wildflowers and milkweeds in their gardens. And, and again, what's the relationship been like with, with the Ogden Center and what's the relationship <laughs> been, been like with Inktwell and Jane? Is, is it kind of just like, yeah, no, we trust you, do whatever you want, or have you guys been trying to get a specific focus in mind that Jane's just been Well, um, like I mentioned earlier, Jane is masterful at choosing the artwork that fits the location best. Mm -hmm. So of course, we've really trusted her, and I totally think it's worth mentioning the other other locations of yeah. her artwork like this is she is a master artist um, where else do you have pieces like huge places <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the Cornell Lab of Ornithology the National Aquarium I've done work at um, Yosemite National Park um, I mean just just wherever uh, mm. the message can be best relayed. So thanks, Facebook, thanks for I mean, this is like, yeah. this yeah. is a big that. deal. And yeah. I, we are super proud to have it in, in Ogden specifically. Um, but yeah, the relationship's beautiful. It's been so much fun, for sure. And then wh why choose Ogden? Oh, um, so many reasons. Uh, you know, it's actually fascinating what's, what's happening in Ogden right now. There's mm -hmm. a, a huge movement. Uh, Brandy is, is, is <laughs> deeply involved, as, mm -hmm. as are a lot of other members uh, of the community. Um, O1 Arts, um, Weber State University, uh, the Monarch. Um, there's actually a, a, a big uh, can't, a movement in Ogden right now to create a uh, creative district, an artistic mm -hmm. district. It's called the Nine Rails District. And this building um, where Jane is, is creating uh, this mural is actually going to be the centerpiece of this new arts district in Ogden. So um, when they heard about this, this project, um, all, all three of the, of the organizations, Weber State, and the Ogden Nature Center, and, and the Monarch slash O1 Arts, um, really embraced it and wanted to, to bring Inkwell out and to bring Jane out uh, to sort of plant the flag as um, sort of the, the keystone public art project to, to launch the, the Nine Rails District. So and that's a tremendous honor for us. Yeah. Yeah. And biologically, it's an important place for the monarch butterflies. Mm -hmm. um, this is, there's two groups of monarchs, the eastern and western populations, and the western rely very much on migrating to Utah and the states here uh, in the spring and the summer. So it's the habitat is very important to that story. Yeah, and, and, and I think you know the most important part of this is it's not just, hey, we're going to throw out here because this is the only place that that has let us put our artwork up. It's This is a strategic location sure. because this is where monarchs actually go to live. Yes. Jane, where can people go to find out more information about your artwork or to keep up with you? Yep, uh, you can follow us at Ink Dwell on our social media feeds mm -hmm. and our website is www.inkdwell.com.
Thayer, what's going on? Are you guys just doing Monarch or the more animals that you guys got uh, planned coming yeah, on? Yeah, there, there will. Well, so so the, the Migrating Mural is actually, um, it's it's we, it's we a several campaign. So we did the Sierra Nevada Bighorn Sheep before the Monarchs. Uh, we actually already kind of have our, our next subject. Uh, you know, we we, we, no, no, no. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have to stay tuned. But, uh, but we, it's going to be the walrus. We are planning, I already know it. Uh, the walrus would be pretty cool. <laughs> that would be great. Um, so 20, I think 2021 is when we're going to do the next one. We're going to run with the Monarch okay. for the next few years. Um, but we actually have also um, our first book is coming out oh, uh, October 23rd. So uh, Jane mentioned uh, the Cornell Lab Ornithology. Uh, she did a huge mural on the evolution of birds. Uh, Harper Collins has uh, published a, is publishing and releasing a book of ours um, on October 23rd uh, called The Wall of Birds. So you can, you can check that out. You can buy it wherever, uh, wherever great books are sold. Yeah. And then, Brandy, what's going on with the Ogden Nature Center? So we have some programming related to pollinators coming up. We have a preschool program called Things with Wings, the first part of October. So hop on our website and sign up for that for your little ones to get a little early childhood education on pollinators. And then this weekend is the Harvest Moon Festival. And we will be there. We'll be launching the Monarch Building downtown. But the Nature Center will be painting um, face painting monarchs on little faces <laughs> and hopefully have some beautiful literature about the butterflies and some samples of milkweed and what it specifically looks like this time of year Perfect. and hopefully encourage our community to um, take hold plant plant for pollinators and know what what monarchs take to survive what habitat looks like things like that I mean Seriously, you three are doing something so so amazing right now. And again, it's, it's not just, you know, save the elephant, save the rhinos. It's, it's, you see this cute little butterfly where we think, oh, it lands on the dog's nose and it's adorable. It, it's actually more important than that. It's, it's actually a huge deal and it should be brought to awareness. And you guys are doing a fantastic job. Thanks. So thank you three so much for coming on the Matt Morton Show. We deeply appreciate it. Okay. Guys, definitely go to the Ogden Nature Center to check out the mural. Find out everything you can about the monarch butterfly. It's fascinating what this creature does and how important it is to North America in general. And guys, we have more coming up on the Mountain Morning Show right after this commercial break.